Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor Struthers and this is farming. I'm driving a bank out wagon today. That's the bank out wagon behind you. Maybe I can turn so you can get a better look at it. Yeah, so that's my grain cart. And on this side over here, I got the auger. You can see the auger on the far side. That tips back and I load into trucks. First, I gotta go get my load. My load exists, but it is now on a combine. So. I'm making my way, slowly but surely, this way towards the combines so they can get unloaded into me. We practice this thing called unloading on the go. Unloading on the go is where we do not stop, we unload while we're moving. Unloading on the go. Go means to move. So I'm coming up to Charlie's combine, he should be first. It's the, the younger boss of the two bosses that I have. Uh, the third boss is only 11 right now, so <clears throat> give it a few years, he'll be my boss too. Let's see how much wheat Skip has on him. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I know you guys can't see what I'm seeing, so I'm going to show you. So this is Skip coming. He is just a ball of dust. And so us unloading right here will be a little bit nightmarish he can't see so hopefully he can make it farther than this up around this bend where the field turns up here we'll go that way he is a no step on snake so like I was saying this is a John, De John Deere 9430T track so it's a 9430T tracks tractor it has two tracks on it and here's a picture of it I just posted it to the Facebook well, it'll be a minute for me and Trevor yeah Okay, 10-4. Yeah, that tailwind right there is pretty good. I wouldn't want to unload you anyway. <laughs> that was Skip. He's actually first, not Charlie. So, yeah, you know, he might go just a couple hundred yards further back. Yeah, from my tail there coming around that corner. A little bit of off angle to work with Charlie, maybe. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, I'm going to go up there. Thank you. He's saying that it's uh it's maybe a little better over here before we come around that corner because it is just straight tailwind and when you got a good tailwind and the sun's coming through the dust and the chaff you cannot see it's hard for them to see where my bank out is where the edge of the field is and then try not to strike the bank out it's a good thing about up here is we got all these wind turbines they show us things. They kind of maybe see the tailwind on Skip down there. I <laughs> clean those up. Clean those. I got them everywhere. Zip ties up. So this is going to be a real time, maybe a 15 minute video. Right about there, Trevor. I know what you're trying to do, but that's still bumpy off the end of this whole terrace. The tailwind doesn't, doesn't bother me as much. Yeah. Right there. 10 for it. Yeah, as soon as you come around this corner, I'll line up there. So Charlie's going to give it a go. Now you guys are going to see. Maybe I'll roll up my American flag. So you guys can see a little better. So I kind of swerve out of the way. It's my bank house a little off-centered. So it's like this, and I'm like this along the piece, you know? So I'm straight with the edge, and it's offset. So that way, when I start going, it brings it in. And then we both go, and it's in the happy place, in the happy spot. The happy place is right here, where the header should be, right there. Uh, yep, just thinking about bank out safety. So he is hella full. <laughs> He's got a lot of grain on. He's got a S680. 
It's got the Hillco set up on it, so it levels. But that's a John Deere S680, probably like a 2012 or 2011 or something. This tractor I'm in is like a 2007. So I'm gonna put her in seventh gear, let him catch me, and then slowly ease into it. Now he should be able to unload with no issue. He's got a little bit too close to me. So I'll move away. He said he's going 3.1. So I'll get in the right gear to go about 3.0. Now you can see the dust rolling around us. That's coming out the back of his combine. That's all the separated chaff from the wheat. The taff and the, the taff and the chairs. The ch chaff and the tears. I don't know what that is. It's a Bible metaphor. I'm not that Christian. We live in the atheist belt up here. It's part of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> they call it the atheist belt. I'm not an atheist, I believe in a God. <clears throat> Maybe a different one than you guys, though. Don't fault me for it. I'm your pagan friend over here, out here in the bank out wagon. So, done with him, now time to catch up to Skip. So that was Charlie, I did end up getting him first. He's the son. He's our WOG representative for this county. Congratulations, Charlie. You did it, representing Washington wheat growers at the uh, Washington wheat conferences and stuff, and the well, the Washington, Oregon, and Idaho wheat conference. It's going to be again in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I don't think I'm going to go this year. That's actually the first place I met Charlie. Was there this year? I went to the Wog uh, 40 before 40 or something, where you got to go visit the thing and do the do the whole thing. Do the business side of the farming, the political side of the farming, excuse me, not the business. I'm not much of a politician. I tell you how it is and what it is. I don't need a BS you. So I'm going about eight miles an hour to catch him. I could go faster, but I don't think it's necessary. We're up there, Jim. There's about a 1975, 76, baby blue. Uh, full wheel drive pickup. Uh, Where? Ford probably have 550 red. It challenges tractor with a bank out. And I can't see the green thing, but I would guess now that it's gone. And it was a combine. <laughs> Gary was looking through his monocles. What do you see with your other eye? <laughs> Such a fool. Oh, you're funny, Gary. Can't wait to get your new contact. <laughs> He'll be counting the rings around Saturn. <laughs> He's a third. I'll bet over. You know what he'll be counting. So I got under and my gear down. So I want to be at rev. I don't want to be idle all the way down unloading. If you are, the, the uh, tractor could speed up on you based on the hill you're going over. There we go. That's 1400 RPM. I'm happy with that. This tractor goes up to 2200 RPM and after 2200 RPM, the engine will either explode or hold you back. Skip is filling me, and I'm trying to oh, try not to lose him. Sorry, Skip. Slow down just a little. I geared down. He's just trying to get me full. On <laughs> this side, hills hard. Thanks. I was having trouble catching you. I kept <laughs> pushing my handle down. And you kept 
just out of reach. <laughs> yeah, I started accelerating when you started accelerating. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, ten four. I could hear Charlie even when I can't see him. It's pretty cool. So this is kind of steep down here, but I just take it nice and easy. And I'm not gonna try to go along the side hill. I'm gonna go back up it. So right here, I am fully sideways. This hill is not that steep. And now I'm gonna work my way back up at an off angle. So if the hill's like straight up like this, I'm trying to choose an angle like up off angle it up i'm not trying to go straight up the hill I'm trying to off angle it no here we go now we're heading back to uh, unload i say it's not steep you can see it i can see it it's it's steep it's not that steep but charlie's going that way he's cutting some wheat now I'm going to go straight uphill because I want to get in front of Charlie. He's going to turn around. I'm going to get out of his way. All right. There goes a Charlie. There's a Gary over here. If you look out that way, that's Gary over here. And his bright red bank out. Red on red. Me, I got the green on green. We like to stay color matching here. We couldn't have the red pulling the green or the green pulling the red. It's gotta be all matched up, just like my hat and this shirt. Or JR's truck and his toolboxes. JR's got a cool truck that's got some neon green accents on it. So now I'm heading to the trucks. This might be a 20 minute video. I'm not sure how long this has been going for. Well, no, it might be just around 15, like I guessed. So, like I said, now I'm going towards the trucks. The trucks are not that far from here. I don't want to turn this around. So we'll get out the phone again. Clap, clap. All right. You see the smoke in the air, the haze in the air behind the trucks. That's Jerry's truck. And then behind it is David's truck. They all got the American flags flying, little ones. Here's JR's truck over here. He's watering roads right now, we don't need him. So I'm gonna pull up these trucks, top them off. So I put out, I have an auto timer, 30 seconds on my uh, auger. So I'll stop. Let my auger come out. And I'm tapping it, bumping it down, 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 down. It's probably going to leak wheat. It was leaking a little bit of wheat last time. It's a microphone. La, la, la. <laughs> it's the microphone for my videos. <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, what do they say? Fake it till you make it? <laughs> You'll be on CNN before you know it. Yep. Hopefully not. <laughs> So he didn't take that much wheat. Right so I'm opening the gate and closing the gate, cracking the gate. It's only about half open right now because I don't want to dump uh, maximum speed. I'd rather go nice and slow. It's kind of bouncy though, all slow. So now I'll shut it down. It takes a while for the tube to clear. I can't just shut it off. If I shut it off with that tube full of wheat, it will not turn on again and I will have to dump it all on the ground clean it out to make room. That ain't something I want to do. Alright. My cleanliness and grain loss are directly correlated to my ground speed in different spots. With it being cold, it's going to be a competitive
Right, now I'm feeling David. His I gotta be a little bit different. Yeah, the wind come on, the wind. Different yeah, distance. Oh yeah, then you, you have this pretty accurate reading, then you turn head north, northeast, and it's that just all out the window. All right, so Jerry's gone. He's just gone down to relief elevator. This could be like a 25 minute video. I could bust the drone out and follow him down. The relief elevator is only a couple miles from here. And it's called relief elevator because that's where a train used to be. It used to relieve the, uh, the first engine by pushing from the back because uh, the grain would be so heavy going up this hill over here, McKay Alto Hill, that the relief elevator was where the relief um, engine was. There he goes. It's a windy one today. It's probably 25 mile an hour gusts up here. There's wind turbines up here, and the joke is uh, they're up here for a reason. It is always windy up here. So I don't like to fill them too full in the front. I'll fill it up a little bit, then drive forward. It's just a habit I have from our old farm, from my old farm. The trucks didn't like to go up very good sometimes if you loaded them too heavy in the front so we just loaded them really full about the back two-thirds here they're just going out of relief and these uh, seem to be fine so there's no such thing as overloading he's on private roads the entire way it's a novelty to definitely to have it all connect and have it be one contiguous piece, just like these United States of America, excluding Alaska and Hawaii and sometimes Costa Rica. So I'm not gonna have enough to fill him. He'll be about two thirds full probably. These are just little 10 wheelers, or we call them 10 wheelers. They call this one a tandem, I think, the tandem truck. Yep, he's just gonna need to splash more. So I close the gate, you can see it go down next to the auger. Maybe you can't, I don't know. And I'm controlling it all with this. This push forward opens my gate, closes my gate. My gate is that thing going up and down right there. See that? That's my gate. So I close that down. No more weeds coming out anyway. And then I shut this off. That's my PTO. That's what turns the auger to pump the wheat. And then that puts my uh, auger back. But I'm gonna pull forward first and pull away from him. And once I'm well away a little bit, I'm gonna put that auger back down by pulling back on this. And that starts a timer here. You can see it counting down. It's 31 seconds. It's not counting down, but you can see the shade. My auger go down. I'm gonna turn. I'll just turn that way so I can see it. It's all the way down. I'll shut that off by flicking it. Flick the bean here. Edit that out. Anyways, you guys have a good one. And this is me. I'm the one making this video. This time, I'm the star. You guys have a good one.